Hello guys, it's Jenny Jan the Plant Friend coming to you with another planty video. Today's video is going to be some plant care. You know we have to do that video once a week at least. Um, and so I have quite a few things. I actually have a list of things that I want to get done today. So I'm going to get started, but welcome to my channel. If you are a first time viewer and thank you for clicking on this video, hopefully you will make it to the end and hopefully you will find these things interesting. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, I always appreciate you guys and I'd like to say so. So thank you so much for always coming back and supporting me. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, we have some interesting things going on today and we're going to get started. So I recently got this, um, I was trying to decide which, what to do first. I think Tortum, which I'm going to start with that one, um, that I purchased, I did an unboxing and I purchased it uh, last month and I showed you guys, um, you saw it in the unboxing. Well, it's been in moss and I, I had it quarantined and wanted to give it some time to get acclimated you know to my space before uprooting it well the roots are going bonkers i don't know if you can see that and so it has a new leaf trying to come in and i want to give it every opportunity so i'm planning to put this guy in pond this moss is so dry it's in moss and leka by the way there's leka at the bottom of this um pot this is how it was shipped in this cup in this um moss there we go and so yeah but it the roots are screaming for some room to grow and so we're going to go ahead and before the season set sets in the fall is here and before it gets too cold i want to go ahead and take out now i do uh, up pot things in the winter time i do and and they've done fine so um but in this case because i'm having to take off everything i really wanted to get this done so I think I think we may have to put this guy in water and <laughs> let it soak. I should have done that earlier. I forget sometimes it's hard to get moss off of those roots. So I'm just going to put some water on top here and get this really saturated and hope that that will help me get this moss off of these roots okay so we're just gonna sit that off to the side oh well there's a hole in the cup lovely <laughs> it's okay we got something for that so I'm just gonna put it here okay so we'll put that off to the side there and give that some chance we'll, we'll come back to that give that some time to soak there okay so the next thing that I have to do um, is I have my pink princess and of course this is the only one that's still a pink princess she's so beautiful look at that look at that top cutting nothing but pink per, I mean this one's a half moon this is a half moon this one is almost completely pink as this one was um but yeah so i need a moss pole for this guy so the first thing i want to do is just make sure there are no roots at the bottom and i didn't think that there were but i just wanted to check that and then what i'm planning to do i have uh, moss poles all ready to go and i think i'm going to use this one it whoa moss dropped right out of there uh, it's not wet but I think I'll use this one and let me see if it'll be tall enough yeah it's tall enough but it's uh, let me see I have one other option well, I have several options but one other that I'm, in, I'm considering using and these are um, I love these I got these off of Etsy these are uh, lazy moss poles and they're 3d printed and they you can um you can easily stack them like so and i'll put the name of the um the name of the 
supplier or where I purchased them from in the description I will do that uh, like so and see now it just extended it and I think this is perfect for this because it, it'll give it some room and I won't have to change it out anytime soon so we're just gonna uh, let me just tilt the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing here and then we'll um, yeah like that okay so what I'm gonna do and I probably should just go and wet this really quickly let me do that okay so I just took this to the sink and moistened it really good so it so to give it a good start um, as opposed to having to do it once I once I put it in the pot so what I'm gonna do is move the pot back here I'll take that off to the side and the best place so I'm gonna be removing this uh, bamboo steak also and I'm just going right down alongside the pot okay so we're gonna go like this and then what I'm going to do is I am going to take my clips and just clip it to the moss pole I have my little um, orchid clips here I think that these will work um, it has some nice area roots okay so well, let me turn it around so you guys can see what I'm doing here so what I'm doing is just taking these clips and pushing the moss the um, the uh, plant into the moss and trying to turn the area roots and then I'll put one more there because there's a area root there so that's what I'm doing and this should help this plant put out bigger leaves it should help it uh, It's just not uh, going in there. It's not clipping in there like I want it. So we'll leave it for now. But uh, I did want to try to get at least one more here. Okay, so that's what we have here. I like that. Um, I'm pleased. I have the extended moss pole there. And she has a little room to grow um, and so we'll see what happens we'll see if she puts out larger leaves or whatever she was living in a plastic uh, the plastic greenhouse cabinet since I got her I got her back in June and but I'm ready to move her out now so she's now for about a week now been living on my IKEA shelf just a shelf not not in the cabinet or anything and so we'll see if um, how this guy does outside of the cabinet or if I need to put a bag or something over her but at least I've given her a better moss pole situation to to grow up on so yeah that was the main goal today so we'll put her off to the side somewhere and so the next thing that I have to do I don't think the tortum is ready so we'll go to the next one this is my Maranta propagation and look at those roots right so I'm ready to pot her up today um, I was gonna add her back to the mother plant I have <laughs> I have several of these going right now but I really love this particular Maranta it's so easy um, to grow and to propagate so um, you know I, I have them in different areas in the house so I don't mind having more than more than one um, so we're gonna use this self-watering pot with this wick to get this guy uh -huh. yeah that's fine just doing that so that I can get the get it to sit down in there it'll loosen up once I put the water in there okay and we're gonna put this guy in pond I think I know that the other one is in pond maybe I'll go with Lekka let's go with Lekka on this one Look 
at those roots. I love it. Now that one didn't, well it's starting to, so we'll leave that in there. If, it, if they don't have at least a couple inches of roots, they're probably not going to make it. That one has a little bit, but it could stand a little bit more. The rest of these just really took off. I don't know if it's because they were down further in the, in the water. I'm not sure, but um, they did fine. So we're going to go ahead and pop these up. And um, I'll leave those other two in the water for a little bit. And then if I have to, um, once they root, I'll just pop them up in here anyway. We'll just make room and, and put them in there. That's down in there far enough. This particular one is, I can still see the roots. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit more leka in it there. And, whoa. Like so. And do I need this? Let's see. So that's it for now. And then these two... We'll just leave here and let them root a little bit more. And um, is it two or three? I think it's three. Um, so yeah, so we'll let these root a little bit more and then add them to the pot later. But we got the plant potted up, so that's her. Um, alrighty, and then let's see. The other thing that I needed to get done is Iffy Plants, my friend from San Antonio, sent me this um, this uh, Epipremium Padata Variegata. I think I'm saying it right. And so I want to get this guy potted up because, again, um, she sent it to me in moss and uh, the roots are starting to grow. These two leaves came out in my care um, when she sent. There was just those three down at the bottom. But I feel like if I give it a little more room plus I got some root rot going on I'm pretty sure that's right yeah so it's a good thing I'm taking this guy out so I can see what's going on with it um, she's been growing it in moss um, tr trying to wait until the roots were established before she sent it to me and um, they're established but I think some of them are starting to rot so I'm gonna get it out of the moss you can see there the rot on the ends there um, so we'll make sure all of the moss is off and I'm going to put this guy in LECA as well it's so funny because sometimes I guess it depends how long the rot's been there it can smell very badly that didn't this doesn't smell that bad actually but it may have just you know hasn't been there long enough so it's a good thing we're getting this out today alrighty so we're just gonna snip this rot off the edges and then as you can you see here just snip it right there that's the rotted part a little bit there so A little bit more right there. Okay. All right. Well, I, that's good there. And on this one, just a little bit there. Just on the edge, the very edges of the roots, the very tips of the roots, I should say. All right. So we're going to pot this guy up in LECA and we're going to use a clear um, pot here, this little clear mesh pot.
Okay. And we're just gonna So what you have is this one, I think this root could snip it there. Um, let's see if I snip it. Where do I snip it? Maybe the next time, maybe we snip it the next time, we'll put it like that. There we go. Okay. All right, well there she is. I did. I decided not to snip it. Now, let me just let it grow out some more and then we'll figure it out. But this is her pot now. She's all potted up and we're gonna just put her in this outer pot. I like that, that's nice. So yeah, Ify, I had to get this one out of the moss. I know you like me to leave them, but. And so the next thing that I, well, let's see if the tortum is anywhere close to being ready. This may be another day situation, but. Okay, so I think that's about as much as I can get off. It looks pretty good. Um, and I am putting it in a clear pot, so I will be able to watch these roots since they have a little bit of moss like here and there. I did lose some roots. I, let's see, am I going to put this in Lekka or Pond? I think I want to cut snip that little root off right there because it's kind of dark. Uh, okay, I think we're going to go with Lekka. And I'll tell you, the reason, uh, how I decide when I'm going to use Lekka or Pond is depending on how uh, strong a root system it has. Like if it has like a very shallow root system, Pond seems to work better. If it has a deeper root system, Lucka seems to work better. So I think it just really sort of depends on, let me see this little thing here. I could probably actually cut it just. It's a little bit of uh, rot on the bottom there. So I just snip that off. Um, and we'll get it down in here nicely and then we'll be able to watch the roots and see what we need to do if we need to change anything if we need to take it out or okay all right so i'll put i'll put nutrient solution in later but i like her this is her actual pot um, and it's a clear pot so again I can still watch the roots it's the roots are about a third up so I'll fill keep the um, I didn't put a wick in this one but I'll keep the water reservoir right above the ends there and let it uh, do what it needs to do there and so I think she'll be happier there um, at least I hope she will um, so yeah so that's that one and then this is one of those whew, Glad we're done with that set of plant care. Well, guys, if you made it to the end, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Um, this concludes this video for today with all of my plant care situations going on. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. And um, yeah, I'm still looking for suggestions on videos. In the meantime, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. And if you guys have some suggestions of some plants that you want to see or something that I'm supposed to update you on that I forgot, I mean, just put the, leave it in, in the comment below and we'll get to it. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.